Hi, welcome to the MathCenter.com. Uh, we're going to look at uh, an all exam question in this video. Uh, this will be for the subject at Maths, IGCSE, subject code 0606. Uh, I'll repeat, it's an all exam question. Uh, but before we look at the question, um, uh, please uh, follow me on uh, Facebook and YouTube. Uh, visit our website, themathcenter.com, for details of uh, all our courses that we offer, Maths and Physics, IGCSE, a levels and IB. Okay? So, uh, please share as well, as much as you can, this video. Okay, let's start. Uh, the question is, y equals to x e to the power of minus half x. And you're asked to find d2y dx squared. That's the first bit. And then they tell you to find the coordinates of the stationary point and state its nature. State its nature means whether it's a maximum point or a minimum point. So let's start, right? Let's start slowly. Uh, we have y equals to x e to the power minus x over 2. So let's find dy dx. Okay? So dy dx will be equals to the uv rule. Write down the first term, you differentiate the second. Yeah? Differentiate the second, you will get minus half e to the power minus x over 2. Then you write down the second term. And differentiate the first, when you differentiate x, you get 1. So I'm not writing it down. So now I have, let me take out the common, the, um, the common term here, e to the power minus x over 2. And what do I have? Let me bring this to the front. Yeah? So I have 1 minus uh, half x. Okay, let's leave it there. So let me write it here so that I can erase the board. So dy dx equals to e to the bar minus x over 2, 1 minus half x. Okay, that's done. Um, everything looks good. So now let's go ahead and find d2y dx squared. Uh, let me do it here, right? Let me do it here. Uh, d2y dx squared, use the same idea, the uv rule, right? You will rule, write down the first term. Okay, this is your first term. And this is your second term, 1 minus a half x. When you differentiate that, what do you get? You get a negative half. Okay. Then you write down uh, 1 minus half x. Okay. And you differentiate e to the power of minus x over 2. You will get minus half e to the power of minus x over 2. Okay. Quite a bit of work there. Okay, let's clean this up a little bit, yeah? So, uh, I have e to the power of minus x over 2. Okay, I have a minus half here. Great. And then I have a minus half here. And then I have 1 minus a half x. Be careful about this uh, algebra, yeah? So, then I have uh, e to the power of minus x over 2. And let's see, I have minus half, minus half is minus 1. Uh, half and this, so I'll have... Uh, 1 over 4 x minus 1. Let me just check that. Uh, minus half, minus half is minus 1. Good. I have a minus and a minus is a positive, so half times half is over. Fantastic. So I have d2y dx squared will be equals to e to the power of minus x over 2, uh, 1 over 4 x minus 1. Okay? So now we can move a little bit faster. We've got all the things that we need. Uh, we asked to find uh, the coordinates of the stationary point. So we need to set this one here equal to zero. Yeah? Set this equal to zero. This can't be zero. This is an exponential function. It's always positive. Okay? So this has to be zero. So when you set this equal to zero, what do you get? Uh, one minus half x equal to zero. So x equals to two. So you know the x value is two. Okay? And then uh, we need the coordinates. So you need to plug that in here. So I have uh, the y value, we got 2 times e to the power, minus 2 over 2 is minus 1. So I have 2 to the power, e minus 1. Let me just check that. Okay. So I have 2, good. And uh, 2 over 2 is 1. And I, fantastic. So I've got the coordinates. Uh, what is nature? Just take this value of 2 and plug into d2y dx squared. Uh, I repeat, this one here is always positive. So it depends on this, right? When you plug 2 inside here, well... 1 over 4 times 2 minus 1 is negative. So this one here will be a maximum point. Okay, and we're done. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Please share as much as you can. 
follow me on Facebook and YouTube. Visit uh, MadCenter.com uh, for all your maths and physics courses. Thank you very much.